Hey guys, so you guys know um, I told y'all in the last video in the fall tag that I was going to come back and um, do a video and like kind of talk about a little bit like where I have been, like what's been going on with us. Uh, right now we're at, um, right now we're at, I'm at soccer practice, you guys. It, so you guys know when soccer season is in for us, it controls our life because my son plays soccer, um, and then our youngest plays soccer, and then our middle child is not a soccer per she's not even a sports person really. She um, is our music girl, and she um, plays the violin. So um, we're like octopus arms, like we're stretching like everywhere. But um, you guys, so. We are on our, what are we on? <clears throat> our third week? Third or fourth week of school, y'all. Um, close to a month of school that we're in. And so far, so good. The kids are loving it. They're loving their new school. They're meeting lots of friends. Um, the big kids have to get up super early, y'all, so... I'm literally up at, um, I thought I heard somebody walking behind me. So I'm literally up at, um, 5.15 every morning. 5.15, I'm up every morning. They, I get them up at 5.30 because I usually, like, pull myself together, y'all. Get some coffee and start getting breakfast ready, start packing lunch. And then once they leave, I think about... They leave um, a little less than an hour from 5.30. Um, a little less than an hour after 5.30, y'all. So they leave, they leave about 6.30. Um, and then the little one, um, I, I get her up probably about 10, 15 minutes after the big kids are out the door. So then it's like once they're gone, I can kind of like sit down, drink my coffee a little bit more, and... Um, and then go get the big, uh, the little one ready. So, y'all, so, so much has been going on, you guys. So, I started um, a woman's Bible class. I've never done this, y'all. I feel like I'm, like, I'm jumping, y'all. I'm jumping on a leap because I'm trying to get my faith stronger, y'all. Um, just, tr you know, I've always wanted to... You know, I always told myself I'm going to get stronger in my faith. Um, but, you know, life happens and, you know, you just don't jump on it right away. Well, I'm finally jumping on it and, um, and getting my faith, you know, getting stronger, getting more into my faith, y'all. And <clears throat> the woman's Bible class that um, I'm in, it's it's like really good, you guys. So... I'm loving it. We have homework, y'all. Like, we're studying. I don't know if anyone ha has heard of this lady before, um, but her name is Beth Moore. Um, that's who we're studying. Um, or we're following along her lessons, and it, it comes with a book, which I don't have the book with me. Um, but yeah, I actually have homework, so I do my homework on it. Um, Sundays now, you guys, for our family on Sundays, um, we go to church, um, after church, sorry guys, I got my retainer in. I be slipping with this thing, y'all, I don't be wearing it all the time, so that's why I pops it in sometimes, but, um, so on Sunday, I go to church, or we go to church as a family, and then after that, um, we go to our class, like, so the kids break off. They go to, um, my son goes to, like, the high school class, like, with the ninth and 10th graders. Um, our middle girl goes to um, the 8th grade class. I think it's 7th and 8th. And then our youngest goes to the 3rd and 4th. So they're all in their class, and they're learning, you know, about God, which is amazing. And then me and my husband go to our class. And, you know, we're learning, and it's so amazing, y'all, that all of us are in it. Like, the kids are even excited to go every Sunday. So, yeah. Like, so, literally, y'all, I'm seriously so busy. Saturdays, we're traveling for soccer. 
usually <clears throat> lately my son has been having to go one direction like which is like an hour this way and then I've been having to go this direction which is like over an hour like an hour an hour and a half this way with the youngest one so me and my husband thank God um, no deployments for us right now so he we're able to split up and be at one game cheering and I'll be at the other game cheering so yeah we're pretty busy um, there, we have practice four times a week y'all so my son is my son's practice is about um, a 45 to 50 minute drive it's crazy y'all um, that, that, that's just one way going to his practice. Um, our little one's practice is on base where we're at. So it's literally, I just drive up the street and she's, she practices for about an hour and a half. Um, and then my son, because he's older, their practice is, um, a little less than two hours. So yeah, um, it's a lot y'all. Um, so practice four times a week, Friday, you guys in Virginia, like I used to couldn't wait till Friday, like to grab a glass of wine because I felt like I made it through the week. Y'all Friday. It's like sometimes now I can't even grab a glass of wine because I'm so freaking tired. I'm so freaking tired. I just want to lay down and go to bed because it's not like I can stay up and enjoy the wine, you know, because I got to wake up in the morning. I got to wake up like six, seven o'clock in the morning for Saturday, um, to travel. So then by the time we come home Saturday, late afternoon or, uh, yeah, late afternoon ish, it's like, okay, maybe I can get, I can get a glass of wine, but then we got to be up again early in the morning y'all for church. So we're like so busy y'all. I'm so busy. Like I have not been watching video. I'm late on watching videos. Um, and then we got a new vehicle, another new vehicle. So we have one. Um, but with me commuting a lot with the kids, especially with my son for practice, it just wasn't working with one car. So we got a big van that I'm in, not that, that you see, um, but I'm actually in it. It's really nice. You guys can look it up. It's called, a um, it's called a Nissan Serena. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Um, so that right there, y'all, that was an expense right there. Um, and then on top of that, y'all, I've been like so stressed out, like so much, like just so tired. Um, last week my phone broke y'all. So by the way, I record on my phone. I'm not all fancy. I don't have a, um, I don't have a, a, a camera y'all. <clears throat> so I record on my phone. Well, when we moved here from the States, I kept my phone, my, um, I kept my, my note that I had, my Samsung note, I kept that. Um, my husband and my kids had to get, and the older kids had to get um, a cell phone from here. Uh, Y'all, by the way, cell phone bills out here are outrageous. Um, literally, my bill is $300. And I ain't feeling that, y'all, because in the States, we literally paid for all four lines for us. We literally paid... Uh, no more than 150 y'all. So $300 y'all. But anyway, so last Friday, my phone, I was sick. I wasn't feeling good. You know, I was like, you know, kind of under a lot of stress and, you know, with a lot of stuff going on. And, um, I was like, you know, once I get the kids out to school, I'm going to come home. I'm just going to have me time. I'm just going to lay down. I'm just going to relax and just pull myself, gather myself together y'all. By the time the big kids left out, I went upstairs to go wake up the little one. I sat my phone on top of my dresser. I sat my phone on top of my dresser and I must have sat it like where it's like, so I must have sat it halfway on, halfway off because as soon as I turned around and my dresser is high, my dresser li literally goes up to my chest, y'all, like up here. That's how tall my dresser is. So once I sat it up there and turned it it slapped right on the floor and it went face forward completely broke every single thing that I had on there basically gone y'all 
and which what is crazy like when like okay so guess what y'all I'm gonna like spaced out for a minute so just follow along with me so I'm not a planner person okay y'all I'm not a planner person like a person who writes stuff in planners that's just not me but because I've been so busy you guys and with the Bible class with practices um, just a lot of stuff going on my husband was like you know he was telling me for a while you need to start getting a planner and stop just relying on my phone because I would just put everything on my phone and my husband was like you need to just get a planner and start writing stuff down it'd be more easier so I finally gave in y'all and got a planner and a whole nother world for me that's a whole nother world for me that I am jumping in and I'm starting to love planning y'all I'm not like super big into putting stickers and stuff in it but writing down yes I'm starting to love it and it's saving me so anyways I, I was getting into planning okay so I had wrote my planner the day before Friday Thursday I wrote my planner for that Thursday I said okay write down everything on a notebook that I have saved on my phone you know like I had a lot of stuff saved on my phone y'all passwords for all kind of stuff because I had the note phone the note um, the note phone is what I'm saying when I say note. Um, so I didn't get to it Thursday because I was so busy, y'all. So Friday, I wasn't feeling good. I was like, you know, later once I get myself together, maybe possibly take a nap, I'm going to do the planner. Y'all, when I went upstairs, okay, now I'm going back to the original store. When I went upstairs to go wake my daughter up and I put my phone up on the dresser, I must have put it halfway on and not all the way on, not paying attention because I was not feeling good. It slapped on the floor, completely broke, y'all. The screen was black, like, and it had like little white lines that, you, like, you can tell it was leaving. Like, I was like, "Lord," I was, I was freaking out because I had no way to text my kids. My kids always text me when they get to school, when they make it to school, when they get on the bus, stuff like that. So I was freaking out because I knew my kids were going to be freaking out, the big kids, and I was like, "Oh heck, they're going to be like, where's mommy?" Blah blah blah. So then I was also freaking out because my husband couldn't get a hold of me so he came home and he's like um he's like you know I've been trying to call you and I was like my phone broke so anyways because I was just just stressed y'all when um I started brushing my daughter's hair and you guys know us moms we tend to um you know put ourselves last and put everyone before us y'all and and I have that real bad, you know, that's just me. I just, you know, I always tell myself, just, I'll take care of it later. You know, if it's for me, I'll take care of it later. I'll do it later. I'm not worried, you know, I'm, I'm worried about everyone else, the kids, my husband, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I was just so overwhelmed with emotion as I'm brushing my daughter's hair. I just started crying out of nowhere, y'all. I just started crying. And my husband had, um, he was about to leave to head to a ceremony. And he came and he walked around the corner and he saw me crying and shocked the heck out of him. And he's like, you're like, what's going on? Are you okay? And I was just like, I couldn't even talk. I was just crying, crying so much to the point that I made my little one cry, which right then told me, okay, stop crying because I don't want her to see me breaking down like that. Um, so, so I stopped crying, but anyways, you know, you know, my husband, you know, made me feel so much better, assured me that everything was going to be okay. Um, and I, I felt so bad because after like I took the little one to school and my husband left, I, I went and took a nap, y'all. I cr kind of cried myself to sleep and my husband came home and he was just like, I couldn't concentrate because he was worried about me, you know, cause he just, he knew like I, that I'm, I'm stressed, you know, just I'm busy and all this other stuff. So he was just like, you know, it's going to be okay. And you know, just assured me, blah, blah. So yeah, y'all, that's what's been going on over here. I'm sorry to drag this stuff out, y'all, but I was like, I really need to update these people. These people. My friends! <laughs> I really need to update y'all. And so, that's another reason. So, I keep in contact with a few people on an app, y'all. On a text and app. A few people have my number on here. And, um, so... Y'all, if you text that app and you don't get no response from me, I'm sorry, y'all. It ain't my number no more. I mean, like, I, my number is not connected to there no more. So I apologize for that. I'll have to reach back out to you and um, give you my new number 
through that app so yeah but that's what's going on y'all I'm, I'm here at practice um, I got all the kids with me the girls went to go play at the playground uh, my son's there he's training right now they're doing like training and stuff but yeah that's what's going on y'all and at the end of the month I'm gonna have a 13 year old daughter y'all I'm sorry I'm talking so low I don't know why I'm talking low because um, I can't be my crazy self as I usually am at home but anyways I hope while y'all are watching this maybe it's like a um, nice relaxing morning for y'all or something like that where y'all can probably possibly be having a cup of coffee a glass of wine or something and just you know listen to your girl talk because you know that's what us ladies we gotta get it out sometimes y'all so um yeah but I just thought I would update y'all on just what's going on you know you don't see me a little bit I'd be probably spazzing out this is this is what's going on this is the life that's going on just a busy mama y'all so but I'm definitely gonna try to be back you know watching videos a little bit more I was just so um I didn't have a phone but my but as soon as that broke y'all within a few hours my husband went and got me a new phone so I'm just learning how to work this thing yeah but anyways um, I just thought I would pop in and talk to y'all for a minute. Um, let me go ahead and go. Oh, we just got here, so literally I have a, a long time sitting here. Um, so let me go ahead and go before it gets too dark in here, or too dark out here. Um, but yeah, so we, we're loving Japan, y'all. A little bit of me is kind of getting a little homesick. Not like homesick of missing my home, but missing the states. So yeah. But anyways, let me go ahead and go, y'all. I'll holler at y'all later. There's some update on me. There's some update on us, y'all. All right, so I'll holler at you guys later. Bye.